Hello. This reading is for Aquarius. Aquarius, let's see what's coming into your energy. What message can I share for you? Could be an affirmation, a confirmation, a caution. Could either be on the long or short term. Aquarius, these are messages for the general collective. So if you're interested in having a reading with me, a private reading, you can reach me through my Gmail, which is in the description box. Also, if you'd like to go and treat me to a coffee, a $5 coffee, you can. The link is also down there in the description, if you like the reading. Aquarius, if this reading resonates for you, all these cards want to fall out. Not yet. <laughs> if these, uh, if the reading resonates for you, let me know. Um, do a, a like or leave a comment. Let's get into it, Aquarius. My message for you. the world before we got the sun and now we have the world I have queen of wands just two cards one card nine of cups the emperor Okay. Interesting how we have a queen and her counterpart here is the emperor. It's like the queen is leveling up. Or someone is really impressed by this queen enough to appear energetically as an emperor. Which is it? Aquarius. Are you the queen or are you the emperor? I'm going to clarify this beautiful queen. Who is she? This queen is expecting something, Aquarius. This queen in this energy, eight of swords, two of swords, justice. This queen is not budging unless she gets what she wants. I wonder what she wants, Aquarius. Let's clarify the Emperor. Who is our Emperor? <laughs> this is a little funny, isn't it, Aquarius? Our emperor looks like he is fully ready and willing and capable of offering the justice that our queen of wands wants. She's in this state because she's expecting justice. She can't move forward. And this emperor energy feels horrible about what happened. What happened? Hmm. But yes, that's what we have here. That's why we have the world. We have a brand new start. Let's see the Nine of Cups. I'm only going to put one card in the Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Well, now I'm going to have to put two more cards. What is that Eight of Cups? So this is the friction, Aquarius. I'm going to clarify this Eight of Cups to go and see how this Nine of Cups is um, aspected. Right now I'm going to say this is a neutral Nine of Cups. This is also like a thinking Nine of Cups, although it is in cup mode, because how can these actions necessarily mean and actual happiness. All these actions too are based on thought. 
you know, you walked away because you came to a decision. You are pondering your choices or what to do and being upset over that decision. It literally is in this energy. Someone is either walking away or coming back. They're reflecting on the consequences of that and really upset on how to, was it the right choice? You know, issues around that. I will throw a card on the Eight of Cups to see how it's aspected. The moon. So I could say in a nutshell, this person left because they were indecisive. Since we are a channel dedicated to the moon, I'm going to have to clarify that moon. I will clarify it with three cards, Aquarius. I have the star strength and six of swords. This is a moon of reconciliation. This is a moon of patience. This is a moon of hope. This is a moon that believes by going slow and steady they will win. This also looks like a moon of, re excuse me, yes, it is a moon of returning, but the moon aspecting this Eight of Cups means that this Eight of Cups energy left. They probably left an Eight of Cups energy too, but now they're back. The Eight of Cups is making the full circle back. Four of Cups and Nine of Swords. I don't need to clarify that because we already know that the moon has decided to come back. Aquarius, we will get into the reading. So this is a brand new start. Aquarius, a question you should ask yourself because once again, I feel this can go both ways. Are you sitting in Queen of Wands energy? Are you not moving? unless you get what you want towards a connection. Likewise, Aquarius, are you sitting in Emperor energy? And there was a situation that you did not handle as effectively as you would have liked. You recognize that now. You want to make it better. Aquarius, let's take it from the perspective that you are sitting in Emperor energy and that therefore to restart this world would be your achievement. In that case, Aquarius, there's a queen. And this queen does feel pretty bad. This queen in general, I would say in general, this queen, although she feels bad, she will not go and make a move first because she expects that whatever the situation is that led to this, led to this energy, this blocked off, stalemate, stagnant energy, she feels the other party should come forward. Likewise, I have an Emperor energy here. This Emperor is going to make the appropriate concessions that I feel will definitely soothe over the Queen. So Aquarius, keep that in mind as well if you are the Queen and you know of who this Emperor is. As I said, the roles can be reversed. This Nine of Cups is really the motivation for it. Although this person feels, well, this person feels very upset about the situation. I feel the upset is on both sides, obviously, with the Queen of Wands, with that Eight of Swords, and um, what was that other energy that she had? Two of Swords. And likewise, the Emperor sitting in uh, Five of Cups energy. I mean, this 
anxiety. It is regret. That is a mutual, a mutual feeling. I do feel, however, that Emperor has been thinking about ways of mitigating, solving the situation. And this is an Eight of Cups. That is the Eight of Cups of Return. I'm sure that the weight has been long enough for it to come in Eight of Cups energy, also the moon. So whatever the length of time, time is relative for everyone, right? All our time cycles feel different. But Aquarius, I know that for the time to be represented like this, it has been quite a while. Likewise, for the time to be represented in Eight of Cups, it's been a long time. Eight of Cups is clarified by the moon. Another indication of time, Aquarius. In this time, I'm just going to say you have been thinking of the connection and very slowly, very smoothly, you've been making your way towards I feel getting into that emperor mode to offer the appropriate apology, the appropriate whatever you need to do. It does seem as well, Aquarius, as I mentioned before, the fact that we have a king and queen, excuse me, not a king, we have a queen and an emperor in this reading shows me that this emperor energy, the male energy leveled up this energy leveled up to meet the expectations of the queen. It almost feels in this energy as well, Aquarius, that it's surpassing the expectations of what the queen wanted. Hence why we had the nine of cups, wherever that nine of cups went. Well, we have ace of cups. We have star. Where did my nine of cups go though? You saw the nine of cups. We had it somewhere. Nine of Cups. But in our basic energies, <laughs> organizing it, but in our basic energies here, under the world, this emperor surpassed the expectation or will surpass the expectations of the queen by coming in this energy it's very interesting the achievement this is a world of achievement this is a world of satisfaction it's a world of growth which is exciting to go and feel that energy aquarius you or your person underwent some massive changes to go and address the situation it's a big change you underwent, a big evolution. Likewise, Aquarius, as I said, if this is your person coming to, the, to you, know that they underwent a massive change. Aquarius, if you like the reading, let me know by a like. And if you would like to see more content from me, subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Once again, I am available for private readings if you would like to contact me about that. Information's in the description. Aquarius, until the next reading, I do wish everybody a beautiful day. Bye-bye.